Well, we are joined now with our locked in Houston Texans insider John Hickman to talk all things the NFL draft. Now, the draft is this Thursday, okay, just days away, and the Texans hold the number three overall pick. So, of course, we want to get into all that juicy drama. So, first, I mean, let's talk about it. We have Lovey Smith, first year head coach in, in Houston. Then we have Casario, the general manager, who's in his second year as general manager. And then we have Davis Mills at quarterback, who played last yes. season. Uh, 413 record. I mean, it's a lot going on in the offseason. It's a lot going on behind the scenes. And the Texans are pretty quiet about what's going on in the draft. What would you say with that very first pick so high up? What are they going after? Is Davis Mills their guy? So are they looking for somebody with Davis Mills? Yes. So I think for this immediate season that's coming up, Davis Mills will be the starting quarterback unless an unforeseen injury happens or they get something that, that, that they can't possibly pass up on. So with number three overall, we've heard Lovey Smith mention that he does not have the cornerbacks that he actually needs in order to run a successful Tampa 2 defense. The top two corners in this year's draft will be available at number two in Amar Sauce Gardner and Derek Stingley. Now, within the last two weeks, Derek Stingley's uh, draft value has shot through the roof. And I'm looking at Amar Sauce Gardner, excuse me, who has really shined throughout the collegiate career, throughout his collegiate career. So they will have their decision on whether they want to go with Gardner or Stingley at number three overall. Okay, so well, let's move on to number 13. Number 13, 13th overall is the pick they got, one of the picks they got from Cleveland in exchange for Deshaun Watson. I mean, where are we looking at there? Because you mentioned cornerback with pick one going defense, but then when you go to pick 13, which is still high up, are they looking to trade off that pick for maybe, you know, something else a little down the line? Or do you go wide receiver or O lineman in that aspect? I definitely think there's a possibility that the Houston Texans will move on from the 13th overall pick. Nick Casario did mention on a potential trade that they are flexible and open-minded and adaptable. So if someone is calling and they have a deal that Houston just can't simply pass up on and it makes sense for them later in the draft, then I do believe that Nick Casario will take that deal and move on from 13. Now, if they stick at 13, they have mentioned over and over again that they want to really invest in what Davis Mills can possibly be in this upcoming season. How confident should the Texans fans be into this draft after watching everything crumble these last few years? Well, Tyler, Texas, you guys in Northeast Texas, that travel is a travel from where you are to the NRG Stadium. And I believe that within the next two years, people will want to make that travel to come down and watch Houston, Texas play football at the NRG. So last year, the ups and downs were tremendous. Now moving forward with 12 picks in this year's draft, it's kind of hard to mess up on 12 picks in this year's draft. Thank you so much for bringing so much insight uh, to the draft that's coming up on Thursday. I'm pretty sure you're going to have a busy week, but thank you so much for joining us. Thank you guys for having me.